Are you serious? Are you serious? Do we need to give these asteroids a gentle nudge with a nuke? What? Nudge with a nuke. Uh, this isn't the movie Armageddon, but uh, in 2013, don't forget, we had that small asteroid explode uh, in February of 2013 over Russia. The sonic boom was so powerful, even though the meteor was only 20 meters wide, that it damaged over 7,000 buildings and injured over 1,500 people. So there is meteorites that are increasing, asteroids that are racing by the Earth right now. We didn't even see this one coming. No one even told us this one was coming when it exploded over Russia. I mean, we've got asteroids. I mean, just last week we had one the size of the Statue of Liberty grazed by the Earth within 45,000 miles of the Earth. And we got one day notice. There is a ton of these asteroids that's increasing. It's like a minefield as the Earth is entering into this galactical plane. And that's why you're seeing more cosmic red dust. And that's the reason there's more earthquakes and an uptick in volcanic activity. And Jesus said there'd be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and distress of nations with perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring, men's hearts failing for fear of things coming upon the earth. For the powers of heaven shall be shaken. And when you begin to see these things come to pass, you'll see the sign of the Son of Man coming in power and great glory. When you begin to see these things come to pass, then look up, lift up your heads. Your redemption is drawing nigh. Man is getting desperate by even considering shooting nuclear weapons into space to nudge away incoming asteroids. But they're starting to talk about it, which means they know we're getting into some dangerous territory now and that there is an eventual deep, deep, deep impact that is coming. And, um, I mean, the meteor that exploded over Russia, you know, it's, it's nothing compared to the craters that have hit before, like the meteor crater hit in Arizona, or the one that impacted in Siberia in 1908. I mean, we've had some huge ones, and, and if you want to even go further, we can. But I'm telling you now, the uh, it's very cynical, I think, for any of us to think that, that Americans' nuclear weapon policy would not include the situation of trying to destroy or nudge away, explode and nudge away asteroids. The problem is if you hit an asteroid with a nuke, it won't nudge it away. It will blow it up into pieces and then those all those pieces will come crashing down or some of them might go in a different direction, some of them won't. And maybe if the thing wasn't even going to hit but just scrape by, you've taken a a necessary chance. In other words, man, you're not going to Mankind is not going to save itself. They can dig all the bunkers they want, underground cities that they want to do, put, store the water, store, store the food, build underground hospitals, concrete bunkers. You're not going to hide from God. You're not going to escape the wrath of the Lamb. My advice is don't be left behind. Are you serious? Get ready. Get, give your life to Jesus Christ. Get ready to be changed in a moment of a twinkling of an eye. Get ready to be caught up forever to be with the Lord. And so shall you ever be with the Lord in the clouds of power and great glory. You can run for the rocks and the mountains. You can cry on to fall on you and to hide you from the face of him that sits on the throne. But the Bible says every eye shall behold him. Every knee shall bow. Every tongue shall confess 
that he is the king of kings and the Lord of lords. I'm telling you, it's time to get things right with God. You are living in the edge of eternity. This is the brink of the beast. We're at the apocalyptic hour. Something biblical is going on with the signs of the second coming of Christ. And we're running out of time. And we're running out of plans. Are you saved? Call on Jesus Christ before it is too late.